Lost 42 to 8 to the Caesar Rodney Riders. On the season, Kane has 86 carries. He's racked up 876 yards and 10 touchdowns. Also, Matthews on the ground, the quarterback, 393 yards and five touchdowns. In the passing game, Matthews is 10 of 31 for 348 yards. Meanwhile, for the Cape Vikings, their key performers, Justin Lopez and the transfer from Lake Forest, Tavon Scott. Head coach for the Vikings, Bill Colick, as he wants to win his final three games to get a winning season. Last week on the road, they took on the Polytech Panthers, the final 33-9. The last time the Ravens defeated the Vikings when Bill Colick was the head coach. His team back in 2010 won 48-27 as Desmond Civil sparked his team with five touchdowns. Now I'd like to welcome in my special guest, a friend of mine. Always a pleasure seeing him from the Cape Gazette. Cape Gazette, Dave Frederick. Uh, buddy, thanks for taking the time. You're welcome. How's it going? It's uh, going great. And you were here uh, back in uh, uh, 2010 when uh, Desmond Civils uh, and Coach Colick. Uh, I was uh, here in 1910. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know you're the but sports guy. So. I think I've seen, I've seen them all. So take us back uh, to when Desmond Civils uh, ran wild on the Cape defense. Now you talk. Yeah, well, I mean, Civils was a special player in, uh, I think, five touchdowns, one game. Uh, one of them when Cape didn't get in right at the goal line and handed it to Civils, and he took it back 99 yards. And the cool thing is he's now uh, at Salisbury as a junior and running in the backfield with Jerome Johnson, Cape's 2,000-yard rusher. And uh, the, the you know the West kid from Laurels there too. So uh, it's nice to see Hand Open Conference guys, and and these kids are friends. They know each other. I mean, this is battle night. This is rivalry night here tonight. But uh, you want to keep that a healthy rivalry uh, be, between schools and, and and among athletes. And I always say, when people are doing the same thing that you do, which is being an athlete and playing sports, you know, you should be friends with them. You know, in, inside the lines, you play hard. But, uh, you know, you want to keep uh, these rivalries um, healthy. And, and I think that the athletes do that. And uh, Sherman, what the head coach of Fort Salisbury, has done a good job of uh, recruiting uh, local kids. In my uh, introduction, uh, Dave, I mentioned uh, back in 2011, Bill Colick, uh, as the head coach for the Vikings, stormed in here and defeated the Sussex Tech Ravens 26-23. to Do you expect a lot of people attending because um, – Two years ago, this place was packed on both sides. Yeah, I think it should be. Uh, you know, it, it's hard to say uh, moving into what amounts to uh, game eight, where you got four and three versus three and four. But both these teams are in a position to salvage a season, to, to establish a winning season, and really mathematically, Kate, because of the, the strength of schedule, and Sussex Tech, because they can finish seven and three, both those teams. Uh, one of those teams will possibly make the tournament, but certainly not both of them. So, uh, you know, if somebody drops this game tonight and, and they're they're out of the picture, and the other team stays in the picture. So, yeah, I know from the from the Cape side of the street, uh, being three and four, but you come in, you got three games left, and you can salvage a winning season and uh, possibly sneak into the tournament. And of course, you know, Tech can do seven and three, beat the rival Cape, beat Polytech. Um, so, you know, they're, they're excited, and they have a lot to play for as well. As a Cape, Dave, on the season has allowed 210 points. What can we expect from the defense tonight against the Ravens? Well, you know, Cape has had the, the, been the oddity where they can run offense better than they run defense, and you think, you know, precision, athletes, all that stuff, and, and you expect if you, if you can run offense that you should be able to find 11 guys that can play defense. But, but defense have been, has been their weak point. And in the four games that um, they've lost, they've been destroyed in the first half, just giving up too many points, 28, 34 points, you know, that kind of thing. Um, I, I would expect, you know, they, they switched defenses somewhat and gone to a, a – 4-3 to a 3-4, which basically gives them two linebackers in the middle in uh, Gibbs and uh, Flowers. Uh, and, and I think that's a better concept for them uh, against the run. For people that have been around football, it's more like the old 52 that you used to see. And that's kind of what they're running, uh, uh, Cape's running, playing on defense. And, of course, objective number one is to stop the big train 
uh, Kanai Kane. I mean, if they, if, if they can't stop that kid, then uh, it's going to be a long night. How do you try to contain Kanai Kane? Yeah, if it were me, like if I were playing linebacker or tackle or any place out there, I want to get him before he gets to like a third or fourth step. Because you know, if you collision him, then you're gonna get you're gonna get a headache, and uh, you know they may do a chalk outline of your body on the field. Uh, can I is a question mark tonight? I think in terms of his that he left.